In the heart of Franklin Zoo, something extraordinary unfolded as Bella, the resident gorilla, went into labor. Bella refused to let anyone get close to her or her baby. Dr. Anderson was getting worried, and he refused to rest before examining the baby. But he knew that there was only one way he could get close to it without getting attacked by Bella. They needed to sedate her. When Dr. Anderson finally managed to see what Bella had given birth to, his eyes widened in disbelief. He gasped and exclaimed, This can't be real! But what was wrong with the baby? What did Dr. Anderson see? And why was Bella acting so strangely? Before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. When Dr. Anderson heard the news of Bella's pregnancy, he couldn't contain his excitement. It had been years since they had a baby gorilla at the zoo, and he was already looking forward to the birth very much. First, he called in an animal nutritionist to ensure Bella was on a perfect diet. He also scheduled regular health checkups to monitor Bella's well-being, as well as that of her baby, and he made sure that she did enough exercise to keep fit. This was very important, as it would lower the chance of any pregnancy complications. But despite all of this, the birth would still be complicated. The first signs of trouble came around the sixth month of Bella's pregnancy. She suddenly became very restless, and she started spending more time in privacy. At first, Dr. Anderson thought these were just the usual pregnancy symptoms, but he was wrong. Dr. Anderson was not very worried yet, but he ordered the caretakers to conduct another ultrasound to see if everything was all right. All the medical checkups showed good results. There was nothing that told them there was anything wrong with Bella. During those few weeks, he kept a very close eye on Bella, unable to shake that terrible feeling. About seven months into the pregnancy, something shocking happened. Bella went into labor. At first, the caretakers thought that she was just not feeling well, and they immediately called Dr. Anderson to come and take a look. She was only supposed to go into labor at around the ninth month of pregnancy. Bella was going to have her baby now. As soon as Dr. Anderson received the call, he packed his things and raced to the zoo. When he finally made it to the gorilla enclosure at the zoo and he laid eyes on Bella, his eyes widened. Dr. Anderson had thought, or perhaps hoped, that the caretakers had drawn the wrong conclusion. But as soon as he arrived at the scene, he realized that they had been right. It was time. The caretakers made sure that Bella had this room of the enclosure to herself, and none of the other gorillas would bother her. She needed privacy and space. Dr. Anderson kept a close eye on her as he waited for her to go into labor fully. As dawn broke, Franklin Zoo buzzed with news of Bella's premature labor. Anderson, while relieved, knew this unexpected arrival posed many unanswered questions about the infant's future health and development. The infant's size was unusual, and its vitality, while heartening, presented a puzzle that urgently needed solving. Dr. Anderson peered intently at the infant, noting its robust yet tiny frame and curious eyes. The premature birth was puzzling, raising questions about its early arrival and small size. In the days following the birth, Bella's maternal instincts intensified dramatically. Any approach towards her infant was met with fierce growls and steely glares. Dr. Anderson observed, noting the deep primal protectiveness Bella displayed. He launched a thorough investigation, meticulously reviewing every detail of Bella's pregnancy and delivery. This wasn't just professional curiosity. It was a deep-seated need to understand and ensure the well-being of Bella and her eunuch offspring. Dr. Anderson pored over Bella's medical records, comparing them with standard gorilla prenatal care. Dr. Anderson reached out to a network of gorilla experts and veterinarians. He organized meetings and calls. Together with his team, Dr. Anderson began compiling a comprehensive database of gorilla births and behaviors. In a meeting room filled with charts and notes, Dr. Anderson and his colleagues engaged in animated discussion. Was it a genetic anomaly, an environmental stressor, or perhaps something entirely unknown? As word of Bella's unusual delivery spread, the media descended upon Franklin Zoo, their cameras and questions creating a frenetic atmosphere. Reporters clamored for interviews, while news of the tiny gorilla reached far and wide. 
visitors lined up, eager for a glimpse of the famous baby gorilla. Staff members navigated the crowded walkways, their routines disrupted. Dr. Anderson found himself performing a delicate balancing act. As days passed, the baby gorilla began exhibiting behaviors and characteristics that set it apart from its peers. Its movements, sounds, and interactions with Bella were not quite what the team expected. These subtle differences sparked a flurry of notes and discussions. The possibility of a genetic anomaly became a topic of intense discussion. Could a rare mutation have led to the premature birth and the baby's distinct characteristics? Dr. Anderson knew that unraveling the genetic puzzle would require time and advanced technology, but it was a path they needed to explore to understand the deeper story written in the baby's DNA. Observing them daily, he felt a deepening bond that transcended his professional detachment. As he contemplated the next steps, the weight of responsibility rested heavily on Dr. Anderson's shoulders. As the baby continued to display atypical traits, concerns for its health grew. The team monitored its development with increasing anxiety. Dr. Anderson and the team decided to sedate Bella temporarily to examine both her and the baby more closely. With Bella safely sedated, the team moved in with a mix of anticipation and apprehension. This was their first opportunity to closely examine the baby gorilla. Dr. Anderson led the procedure, his hands steady, but his heart racing. As they approached, the reality of their mission set in. This was a critical moment. As the team gathered around the sleeping pair, what they saw left them in stunned silence. Dr. Anderson's eyes widened in disbelief. As they continued their examination, the team uncovered an astonishing truth that took their breath away. Bella had given birth to twins. The discovery of a second, smaller infant hidden away by Bella reshaped their entire understanding of the situation. Bella's protective behavior and apparent fatigue suddenly made perfect sense. She wasn't just caring for one baby, she was fiercely guarding two. With the discovery of the twins, the team's focus shifted to providing specialized care for both infants. The zoo staff, now even more invested, rallied together to support the unique needs of the twins. The zoo community and the world beyond celebrated the remarkable birth of the gorilla twins. News of the rare event spread, touching hearts and sparking a wave of support and interest. In the quiet moments after the celebration, Dr. Anderson reflected on the journey they had all undertaken. He pondered the lessons learned and the future ahead for Bella and her twins.